Hit me. Going, going, gone. Now I dialed 911 a long time ago. Don't you see how late they're reacting? They only come and they come when they want us to get the morgue truck and embalm the goner. They don't care because they stay paid anyway. They teach you like ace that can't be betrayed. I know you stumble with no use people. If your life is on the line, then you're dead today. Lake Cummins with the Lake Cummins stretcher. That's a body bag in disguise, y'all. I bet ya. I call them body snatchers quick till they come to fetch ya with an autopsy ambulance just to dissect ya. They are the kings because they swing amputation. They lose your arms, lose your legs, and them's compilation. I can prove it to you. Watch the rotation. It all adds up to a fucking situation. So get up, get, get, get down. And 911 is a joke in your town. Get up, get, get, get down. A late 911, where's the late crown? Get up, get, get, get down. A 911 is a joke in your town. Get up, get, get, get down. A late 911, where's the late crown? Thank you. I can post all the video links I want to Facebook and get nothing. I post one link to a KLF Ambient track at 3 a.m. in the morning. This is 3 a.m. Eternal Sea. And I get like six likes and two comments. And That has nothing to do with Public Enemy, by the way. But for some reason, I was thinking of that. So I looked up that. And I did that. Now I got this. Which, who knows if you can even hear it. Because I never know when it becomes background music. It gets drowned out. Background noise. Anyway. It's Friday. I'm totally cutting loose, yo. This is my non-Hawaiian shirt. This is my pineapple shirt. I don't believe you can get pineapples in Hawaii. Well, I don't believe they're native to Hawaii. I'm sure they fly them in. But, uh... I'm going to try to catch up on all that stuff I forgot to talk about this week. First thing I should mention is back on Tuesday... The Lenovo guy finally did show up, and he replaced the fan in this laptop. So, I had an entire three-day weekend of an exterior fan blowing on the laptop to keep it from dying. Which, most people would just turn it off and let it go, but for some reason I keep it on 24 hours a day, because I'm, I'm stupid. I don't know. Here's to you. So I meant to talk about the Timberwolves, and I didn't. And now it's just so, it's such old news, who cares? But stole a win on Sunday against the 76ers at the Target Center. Played the Nuggets the next night. Should have won, didn't. Injuries and just piss poor shooting. What else is new? And they still could have won. But there's that whole thing about Martell not knowing that the Timberwolves were down by three and just taking it to the hole for a dunk. So they lost by one. Actually, I think they lost by two because they ended up having just enough time left to foul one more time and get some free throws done and this and that. Anyway, that was a bummer. Then Wednesday was a total bummer because we went to the Target Center to watch them play the Jazz. A team they had a better record than, by the way. So they should have been dispatching with no problem. But they got off to another slow start. Next thing you know, they're down by 18. Next thing you know, they're down by 16 in the fourth quarter. And then somehow, you know the rest, through a miracle. And it's nice to see one actually go our way for once instead of the other team's way. But Luke Rittenauer hit this improbable floater and ended up winning by two. Maybe the pressure was off because the game was tied, so the worst that could happen was overtime again. But he made the two. 198, and now the Wolves are one game out of the 8th slot, but in 10th, because there's a team ahead of them a half game ahead. It'll all shake out later, hopefully. If you'd like to meet the Timberwolves, they're taking place all over All-Star Weekend. Tonight, Team Chuck versus Team Shaq. Ricky Rubio and Derek Williams are on opposite teams. Will Derek Williams flatten Ricky Rubio with a dunk over him. Ricky is probably smart enough to stay out of the way. So we'll say no. 
Derek is also taking place in the Sprite Slam Dunk Competition tomorrow, where he should have no problem winning. I say this because I don't know the other three dudes who are in it. Although, Shepard's out, replaced by somebody else, I don't know. I think I mentioned this earlier in the week. And of course, Kevin Love is an All-Star for the second year in a row. He'll play in the All-Star game on Sunday. Who knows if I'll get to watch it. Because the Daytona 500 is Sunday. The greatest, biggest, most spectacular race of the whatever. Indeed. So I want to talk a little about about the duels, which were yesterday, and I totally forgot to. Duels used to be like another holiday for me. I actually would take the day off work to make sure I could watch the duels live. Now they kind of, I didn't realize at the time, but Race Buddy streams everything live. So it's like you can watch it, but you don't have to listen to Daryl Waltrip yammer on about nothing. So that's kind of fun. So I had that on the laptop. And then I tried to watch the first five laps and the last five laps in the uh, break room. Of course, I wasn't nearly as interested when my main man, David Gilliland, crashed in like the only big time crash of the duels. I don't know how that happens. It's, it's like David Reagan was the first guy out of the shootout as well. So front row, hopefully they get all their bad luck out of the way, which means they'll do really well in the race. What's wrong with my part? Am I parting on the wrong side? It's now 6.38. Late day for me. I didn't do time or temperature, did I? The Taco Bell gong is to remind me. The bong, not the gong. It's 20 degrees outside. There were flurries last night. That snow's probably stuck around. They're still saying there might be some big time snow next week. We shall see. But nothing tonight and nothing tomorrow. The question was asked, I believe by JJD, who I think will win. Uh, not just Saturday, but uh, not just Sunday, but Saturday's nationwide race. That's an easy one. Tony Stewart will win the nationwide race. Tony Stewart always wins the nationwide race. Go back and check. As for the Sunday race, that's a little more difficult, and I have no idea. I'm going to root for Gilliland. Maybe he and Reagan will actually act as teammates. We shall see. I think Tony Reigns is going to start in park, but I would love to see him stick around too, just in case uh, something bad happens to one of the cars. Then there's still two left to team up. And I know, there's not going to be any tandem drafting. Do I have any questions besides NASCAR? Let me go back to the W and check. Oh, you know what? I got tweets, and I want to thank people for tweeting. JJ Dean, thank you. Swampy, thank you. I don't know what decided. I guess it was kind of a follow Friday from uh, Doug. And then JJ Dean really wanted people to see my bitch in NASCAR shirt. Thank you. Susie must not be watching because she didn't comment. Uh, she may have got the week off or something. Oh, no, the song ended. That means I'm almost out of time. Which is good, because I think I'm out of stuff to talk about. Lise tweeted that because she watches these videos, all her suggestions now revolve around CRZ, but unfortunately they revolve around the Honda CRZ. I'm sorry about that. I keep telling Honda to stop calling their cars that, but they're not listening. Staggerly asks, what TV show do you wish you could live in? This one. Think about it. And I think that's going to wrap up this week, which is good, because i got to get home. We already know it's going to take a half hour to upload this stupid thing, so maybe I'll work on the DVD post while I do that. Do you know I do a DVD post every week? I do. I post it to the W, and you should read it, and you should tell all your friends to read it, and you should get me syndicated to some newspaper who will pay me enough money to retire and just do that instead of this. Ah, uh, we all can dream. And with that, I'd like to thank you for sticking with me for another week, for another four uh, episodes. This is number 30, what, 37, 36, 37. Yep. 
And that's my 10 minutes. So thanks. I'll see you next Monday. Unless something bad happens. In which case, never mind. But uh, my name is Christopher Robbins-Zerman, but you can just call me CRZ. I love you, and I'll see you next time.